This tutorial is a very basic file system setup utilizing Samba, um, a very basic setup of Samba. And the very first thing I need to do is create some users because this system is so new that uh, I haven't set any up. These are just going to be test users, so let's go ahead and add Fred. And we'll go ahead and add another user called Gomer. And I typed the password wrong. And I'm, for fun, I'm going to add another user called Bogus. Now I'm going to create a group also, and I'm going to call this group Samba Users. And I'm going to make Gomer a member of that group. I'm going to leave Fred and um, Bogus alone, not not making them members of those groups. Now Samba, in order Samba maintains its own users database of users, um, but in order to add those users to the database, they have to be able to be identified on this server, such as ID uh, Fred or get int pass wd bogus. You can see that I'm, I see these. That's because they are stored locally in the Etsy password file. Again, a very basic setup. See the three bottom lines there. Now, let's go ahead and make us. Well, we're good. We'll do the share in a minute. Let's go ahead and set up Samba. Personally, I like to set up Samba by editing the smb.conf manually. But uh, for your sake and for simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and do most of it through this plugin. And then uh, the share I'll configure manually, though. So the very first option is go ahead and do work group. It's not case sensitive. Um, I'm not going to make this a domain controller is what it's asking here. I do want it to start up during boot. Um, for the shares, I'm go since I'm setting up a very basic option, I'm going to disable these. Um, I'll go ahead and leave them in the in the file, but I don't want to uh, have them clutter things up. I'm trying to show how simple this is. And identity. It's this is where we got some of our first couple of questions from. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the, check this box. The only thing to note, I think, right here, without going into the advanced settings, is if you change your NetBIOS name right here, it will give you a warning that your SID is going to change. So if you were to go and manually add the NetBIOS name inside of the smb.conf, just be aware that your SID may change. So if you want to set that, set it now. Um, otherwise, set it later. Just be aware that if you have users with the old SID, you may have problems. I don't need to set up any trusted domains or LDAP settings, so I'm going to set it, say OK to this. It'll write to the Etsy Samba SMB.conf. And here are the default options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and comment out some of these lines that I'm not using myself, such as printing. User share allow guess. I'm going to go ahead and change that to no. Win support, win server. I don't really care about these. I'll just leave them in. Domain master, domain logins, add machine script. All of this stuff um, has more to do with domains than it does just a basic login. So let's comment those out just to show you that they're not needed for this basic security equals user setting. Win server, win support. Don't need those. And all of the thing, all of the shares that I commented out are commented or toggled the status on startup status status there commented out here. So I'm going to save this file and now what I'm going to do is let's go create a share. We'll call it Samba share and I'm not going to go into detail about permissions and POSIX rights and stuff. I'm just I'm just showing you a basic setup. So if I list my Samba share it is currently owned by the user and group root and the permissions are 755, so let's change the permissions to 770. Let's give it G plus S. If I spell it right. And let's change the ownership to Fred is going to be the owner, and Samba users is going to be the group that 
is assigned to that chair and we're going to what's it called Samba there you go so now if we do an LL and grep for Samba again you can see that we changed uh, our permissions from 770 um, excluding the uh, G plus S that I set on there the Fred and Samba users are the owners uh, user and group respectively and now I'm going to go and add this into my smb.conf you can go and add this through the utility that I showed you earlier but um, there's nothing to fear in this log you can just go it's just going to make the same modifications that I will I'm going to call a share test um, when I say call it that that doesn't mean that I'm changing the path so let me show you what I mean comment equals test share the path is actually called Samba test but the way I'm going to access it from a client is going to be test. That's going to be the name of the share. Read only equals no. I want it writable. Um, you can say guest OK equals no if you'd like. Uh, valid users equals. I'm going to put Fred in here as a valid user. And I'm also going to put a group name, uh, Samba users. Notice that I st started out with an at symbol and I think that's good for now notice that I left out the user bogus bogus is not a member of the Samba users group Gomer is I didn't specify Gomer specifically I just specified the group that he's a member of and Fred is not a member of that group but I specified Fred manually I'm just trying to show you some options here so now well, let's go ahead and run test parm to test our syntax since we manually edited that file if we had an issue it would complain about it here we do not have an issue and let's restart Samba now the final step before testing this is to make sure that our users are added to Samba again Samba maintains its own database of users and as long as a user shows up locally so if I do again at pass WD I can see my users here these users are allowed to be added to, or to the Samba database, so let's add them. And you can script this to add these users or do a bulk add command, but there's only three of them, so I'm not worried about it. Now, in order to query the Samba database, I can run a PDB edit command dash capital L lowercase w. And I, you can see the three users that I just added. Output comes back for those three users and no other users. Um, you can look at details on any of those users by doing a PDB edit space dash capital L v u for verbose and u is for user and specify a specific user, Fred. Notice that we have account flags. Um, you can go in the man page for PDB edit and look those up. Uh, SIDs, GID, the SID for the group. Um, and by default, later versions of Samba um, are going to have a default backend, past DB backend of TDB SAM, which allows you such options as you see towards the bottom of this output, such as login hours, login restrictions, um, bad password counts, you know, intruder lockout, that type of thing. So very cool option. Um, if you want to find out how to set those, go look at the man page again. Now, I like to test locally before going and testing from a workstation just for simplicity's sake. If we have a problem locally, then I would like to resolve that before trying to go over to a workstation and finding out I have a problem, then trying to determine where that problem's at. Uh, the Linux systems are very verbose with their logging, and so it makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot any problems that you may have. So let's run SMB client localhost. Notice I'm using forward slashes there and not backslashes. Um, if you use backslashes you'd have to escape them and put in twice as many basically. Put in the share name space dash capital U and I'm going to test Fred. Fred should have rights. Um, if I were to hit enter here it would prompt for my password but I can also pass the password on the command line with the percent and then the password and I get a bad network name. I'm just looking at my command to make sure I didn't mess anything up. All right, so let's just check some basic settings. Let's run test parm, make sure I didn't have any syntax issues. My share is called test, as you can see there. 
Samba test, I believe is what I called, nope, I called it Samba share. So you notice that I have called it Samba share down here, but in my path up, and I can't see my mouse, that's why I'm missing. My path, I called it Samba test, so that's my problem there. Samba share, RCSMB restart, SMB client. Now you can see why I like to test locally. If I make a simple mistake like that, it's easy to fix. If I were to try this from the Windows side, I wouldn't know what's going on. And I'm logged in. If I do a dir, I can see whatever is in there, which is nothing at this point. And I'll quit. Notice that I was logging in as Fred, and that worked. Now I'm going to go ahead and try Gomer. Gomer also worked because Gomer happens to belong to that group that I put in the valid users line. Now let's try the bogus user. I expect to get an access denied because bogus user is not uh, in the valid users list. And I did, I got an access denied. Now that we have that working, let's go over to the Windows box and test this out. Uh, I do want to add one option, I forgot. Let me go over to that file. And I'm going to add an option called Browsable. By default, I think it is on, but I'm going to add it anyway. If I set it to no, well, I'll explain that here in a second. Now, if we go over to the Windows box and type in backslash backslash the DNS name of our server, I could specify the share here. That would be fine. Um, but I'm logging in and it will show me the shares. If I had Browsable set to no, you would not see this here. That doesn't mean you couldn't get to it if you specified the path or the share um, in your login option there that I just did. But um, if you have Browsable set to yes, you can see the share. So I'll double click on this and it'll ask me for my username and password. I'm going to go ahead and log in as, let's log in as Gomer. And I'm in this share. I can go ahead and create a file. Or folder. Now if I come back over to this box and do a listing of that, you'll notice that Gomer is the owner, Samba users is the group, and the permissions are set correctly based on how I have everything configured, and everything's working at this point. Now there are many ways to control rights through POSIX, through Samba, through Windows, and those things will not be covered right here, but this just wanted to show you very basic options to create a secure share to allow users, specific users, to log in and be able to share files, read, write, uh, delete files, whatever. Anyway, um, stay tuned for tutorials in the future on different types of uh, setups with Samba, such as with inter integrating with Active Directory and so on, but I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.